Hello, I'm Bernard Norka Mahaney. I work at the Blueford branch of the Kansas City Public Library. April is National Poetry Month, and for the past few years, uh, every day in April, I post a reading of some poem. Um, uh, the, for the month of April 2018, I've decided that I would read poems by William Wordsworth, uh, one of the founders of the English Romantic uh, School of Poetry. So today's poem is entitled Elegiac, Elegiac Stanzas Suggested by a Picture of Peel Castle in a Storm, painted by Sir George Beaumont. So I have a certain fondness for artworks that refer to other artworks. So in this particular case, um, Wordsworth is writing a poem that was inspired by a painting that he saw of Peel Castle um, that was done by Sir George Beaumont. I was thy neighbor once, thou rugged pile. Four summer weeks I dwelt in sight of thee. I saw thee every day, and all the while thy form was sleeping on a glassy sea. So pure the sky, so quiet was the air, so like, so very like, was day to day. Whene'er I looked, thy image still was there. It trembled, but it never passed away. How perfect was the calm. It seemed no sleep, no mood, which, takes, which season takes away or brings. I could have fancied that the mighty deep was even the gentlest of all gentle things. Ah, then, if mine had been the painter's hand to express what then I saw and add the gleam, the light that never was, on sea or land, the consecration and the poet's dream. I would have planted thee, thou hoary pile, amid a world how different from this. Beside a sea that could not cease to smile on tranquil land, beneath a sea of sky of bliss, thou shouldst have seemed a treasure hoard house divine of peaceful years, a chronicle of heaven. Of all the sunbeams that did ever shine, the very sweetest had to thee been given. A picture had it been of lasting ease, Elysian quiet without toil or strife, no motion but the moving tide, a breeze, or merely silent nature's breathing life. Such, in the fond illusion of my heart, such picture would I at that time have made, and seen the soul of truth in every part, a steadfast peace that might not be betrayed. So once it would have been, tis so no more. I have submitted to a new control. A power is gone, which nothing can restore. A deep distress hath humanized my soul. Not for a moment could I now behold the smiling sea and be what I have been. The feeling of my loss will ne'er be old. This which I know I speak with mind serene. Then Beaumont, friend, who would have been the friend, if he had lived, of him whom I deplore, this work of thine I blame not, but command, but commend. This sea in anger and that dismal shore, oh, tis a passionate work, yet wise and well. Well chosen is the spirit that is here. That hulk which labors is in the deadly swell, this rueful sky, this pageantry of fear, and this huge castle, standing here sublime, I love to see the look with which it braves, cased in the unfeeling armor of old time, the lightning, the fierce wind, the trampling waves. Farewell. Farewell the heart that lives alone, housed in a dream at distance from the kind. Such happiness, wherever it be known, is to be pitied, for tis surely blind, but welcome fortitude and patient cheer, and with and frequent sights of what is to be born, such sights, or worse, are as are before me here. Not without hope, we suffer, and we mourn. So that was elegiac stanzas suggested by a picture of Peel Castle in a storm painted by Sir George Beaumont.